Well, with those preliminaries out of the way, uh, what we're going to look at here is the fundamentals of uh, gradient HPLC. And we're going to begin with the very basic question, when do we want to use a gradient or when should we use a gradient? And then we'll look at the surprising similarities that exist between gradient and isocratic HPLC. Sometimes we make trouble for ourselves by assuming that gradients are more complex than they actually are. And we'll see that if we look at it the right way, we can exploit those similarities uh, to make more effective use of gradients. Of course, we always have to be aware that there are differences. So we'll talk about where some of the bodies are buried there. And then we'll finish up by looking at some hardware issues, uh, specifically dwell volume, otherwise known as gradient delay volume issues, and some of the baseline noise and drift issues that commonly occur when running gradients with UV detectors. So we're going to begin here uh, with the question, when do you want to use a gradient? And um, to do that, we really need to kind of take a step back and begin by actually looking at isocratic HPLC or looking at chromatography in general. 